can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you still in a relationship? Why because I think she's beautiful, so I was, I was going to say hello. Yeah, we just like met like three days ago, cool. Cool, and cool. I quite like her, and I think she's really great. Oh, so that's no, your that's angle. Okay, okay I'll go. Very, you can just say I really like her, and then I'll, I'll go away. What you're about to witness is going to be very uncomfortable for some of you to watch, so I recommend discretion. But for those of you that are ready, you're going to learn a skill that's going to change everything. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'm going to give you the three steps to go after your dream girl when you see her, even when the odds are against you and it seems difficult and dangerous. Can I ask a question? Are you still in a relationship? Why? Because well, I think she's beautiful, so I was, I was going to say hello. I think you're yes. very pretty. Hi. Hi, that's very kind. Very kind of you. Very welcome. I'm so, so confused. Why? I just find you attractive and I came to tell you. I don't think I've ever had this happen really? to me in my life. Really? No one's ever come up and told you you look nice. No, not quite like this. Oh, not quite like okay. It's very forward, I know. So already you can see her male friend muttering and murmuring. And look, this isn't going to get any better. No, not quite like this. Not oh, quite like okay. This. It's very forward, I know. I mean, otherwise, Tinder or something else, isn't it? I mean, it's, be it's better to meet in person than on an app or in a bar. That's it. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Absolutely. I'm. Yeah, we're. I'm Hi, Sam. Lovely Sam. to meet you. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, Pleasure to meet you. So what you can see is me doing something that's considered extremely taboo, to go up to a girl when she's with another guy. But what you also notice is I'm doing it in a very polite and respectful way. Hi, Pat Bateman. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm actually on my way to South Africa. Okay, so we're Cape Town or Joburg? Cape Town, well, first Joburg and when I'm Then Cape Town. Yeah. Okay, are you coming back? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so confused. Are you? Huh? Why, why are you confused? Um, is, is this really, is this really unusual? Uh, yeah, dude, I find this a bit inappropriate. Like, really? It's all good to say you look really nice and have a great day. Yeah. Like, that's being respectful. Mm -hmm. But to be like, it's better not to meet on apps. You're kind of alluding that you what? Like, want to meet someone in like a dating sense. Whereas I would rather just be a gentleman and say you look so nice today, have a great day. But I'm, I might want to ask her for a number so that yeah, we can yeah. maybe go on a date. And I don't know how you'd do that if you don't... Uh, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just being honest, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, no, I don't no, think I'm good. being disrespectful. So I could tell that Jonathan had become uneasy. He was clearly not comfortable. In Jonathan's reality, the way that you get the girl you like is you become friends with her. And after you've shown her how nice you are, how good you're going to be to her, at some point in the future, she's just going to say, I love you. And everything's going to work out. And what Jonathan was experiencing now was a clash of realities. I saw you walk past, like, ages ago that way. Shame, yeah. I, I yeah. feel awkward. I am, um, so uh, you, we're just you friends, just, but we just... Yeah. yeah, we just, like, met, like, three days ago. Cool. Cool, and cool. I quite like her, and I think she's really great. Oh, so that's no, your that's angle. Okay, okay I'll go. Very, you can just say I really like her, and then I'll, I'll go yeah, away. No, no, you don't need to make I, it about me being disrespectful. No, no, no. no I'm, not, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not upset. Um, so is it really, is it disrespectful of me now to ask for your phone number? It, or, or? Well, this is, you I'm, are, you are driven. I'm, I'm like very proud of you. That's yeah. very Thank impressive. you. Thank you. So if I tried to persuade them that I wasn't being disrespectful by saying, this isn't disrespectful, this is completely normal, then they'll get defensive and they'll see that my tone is indicating I don't believe what I'm saying. But by asking the question, so is it really, is it disrespectful of me now to ask for your phone number? I'm showing them my reality and they're witnessing a clash of realities. The weight and the force of my reality is sucking both of them in. So is it really, is it disrespectful of me now to ask for your phone number? It... Well, this is, you I'm, are, you are driven. I'm, I'm like very proud of you. That's yeah. very Thank impressive. you. Thank you. Um, but, but it's, it's somewhat pointless because I'm, I'm, I've just finished Leaving my doctorate country. and I'm going mm. to the States. I know, no, I completely get it. I understand your situation as well. I, was, I didn't intend to be disrespectful. I just got to be honest. As a, no, it's as a cool, man. Have what a lovely day. Sam. Sam. Nice to Take meet care. you. Keep up. Well. Cheers, mate. Take care. Sorry. Best of luck in the future. Keep Cheers. Well. Take Bye. care. Jonathan is completely crushed. But what he hasn't yet realized is that this would be the seed for a new life in the real world as a real man living a life of social freedom. We've all been there. I've been in this position. I've experienced Jonathan's pain, and I'm sure that you have too. So the three steps I'm about to reveal are gonna teach you how to overcome your inner Jonathan and just go for your dream girl when you see her. And I know this might look easy on camera, but getting started can be fucking hard, especially when you're doing it by yourself. 
I've spent the last 10 years building a community of men striving to improve their confidence and social skills with the ultimate goal of achieving social freedom. And now, I want to make sure that every single one of you is inside that community. So right now, for only $1, I want to get you inside. You're going to get access to the community, to the weekly lectures, to my bulletproof texting script, and you're going to get access to my tailored guided meditations which help you to go out in the daytime with peace of mind and confidently talk to the girls you like. This is because I know how many of you have wanted to take this action for the longest time, but all you needed was that little push. I'm here to give you that push. Just imagine how you'd be if you'd started this five years ago. Where would you be now? So enough talking, click the link in the description and let's get started. In this interaction, you saw me going directly for what I wanted, even though I knew it was against social norms. I was able to do this with conviction using the following three steps. Step one, I was honest about my feelings and felt no need to hide them. So when you're facing this situation in your own life, remember to take a moment before you enter the conversation and remind yourself of your intention. However she responds, remain polite and chivalrous throughout. This will leave a lasting impression on her and boost your own self-esteem for the future. Step two, I was reading her mind. She came with Jono, but she didn't stay for him. Throughout the interaction, I was paying attention to her body language and facial expressions. If at any moment I sensed that she felt disrespected or that she wanted to leave, I would have let her. But I knew that she was enjoying it, so I kept going. So next time you come up against your dream girl, read her closely. Notice if she leans in or pulls away and mirror her body language. If she leans in or comes closer, it means you can lean in and come closer to her. If she pulls away or is constantly breaking eye contact, it means she's not interested and you need to take a step back. Step number three, let weak ideas destroy themselves through exposure. I ask questions like, is this really, is this really unusual? To allow them to consider their beliefs and question their social norms. Instead of forcing my perspective on them, I invited them to voice their own. So if there's faulty logic or incorrect thinking, it becomes evident to everyone. Yao, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do want to get in on the $1 trial, it's a limited offer. It's going to be off the table soon. So make sure that if you join, that you really commit to following through on the actions and taking the program seriously, because that spot could have gone to someone else. Peace.